Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In last video, we have seen how to add user. So in this tutorial, we are going to create a sample connection. So here we will learn how to create connection from Java to Apache LDAP server. So let's move to the coding section. So first of all, we have to create our environment. In that environment, we need to add all the factors like the address, the user ID, the password. So for that we can use either hasmap or I, uh, you can also use properties. So what will happen in the properties we will add everything. So first of all we need to create one properties. So properties then you can give here like environment equal to new properties. So here it will ask like okay I need to import from where so if you just move your mouse and you can see here it's taking java util package so now here we will add every details so first of all we need environment dot put okay so definitely here it will behave like a key and value pair so in that key what we need to use we have to just use context dot initial context factory and here we are going to use J and D I so if you don't know what is J and D I just go Google try to get some more information so here we'll start with com dot sun dot J and D I dot LDAP dot LDAP ctx factory so please be sure with all these spellings so please don't worry about this what I am writing because this code you can easily find in our description now what we need to do next environment dot put here again we need to add our provided URL so I am just going to copy this one because we are we need to keep use this one so again we need to just use context dot provided URL so here we need to add our address so where we can find so just open your LDAP and see this is server start your server after that come here click on properties so once you click on properties you can see is here host name and port number so I'm just going to use same thing so first of all we have to use like okay it is LDAP address then localhost and what was our port number just go and see 10389 so just come and enter 10389 now we need to add the security principle so what we'll add here again just to go context dot security principle you can see here credential and principle so just I'm going to use here principle and here what we need to add so again just go same like and you can see here we have one section authentication here UID equal to admin and OU equal to system so I'm just going to use here UID equal to admin use comma and organization unit is equal to system okay now we need to add the credential so what we'll do again just come use here context then security credential here we need to add the password so we have to add the password of whom so let's see first here what is this one UID equal to admin and OU equal to system so we have already one organization unit that is called system and O here you can see UID 
so if you go here you add equal to admin so that means like we have to enter the password of this user so now we'll just go this user okay and here you can see user password is there right but you can see currently it is in plain text password so just double click and one option is there just select this one so you can see here now password is secret so if you remove this one you can see a star star is there so what we'll do just come use secret so you can see here we have added our password now this is the like most important factor we have to use contact factory provider url security principle and credential here you have to add like okay for which user you are going to do next their password so currently i'm using plain text password so that's why i used so now we need to create our connection so what we can do so just come here we'll create dir context equal to connection then new initial directory con text and here we need to enter our environment setup now here it will ask like okay what we have we need to do just import this one so now you will see one again you are getting error so why we are getting definitely when we are going to create connection on that time there is a probability like you can get any kind of exception so what we can do here it will ask like okay do you want to throw declaration or surrounded so i'm just going to use surrounded here so now if connection will be fine okay then you will not get any kind of exception so what i'm going to do i'm just going to cut okay now i'm going to paste it here and i will just go use connection okay so let's run this program so if everything fine it will perfectly run so here you can see here we are getting java name and directory initial so if you want to know more just go click on debug section and you can see here we got the connection this is our connection this is the details we provided everything is here see credential right secret now uid ldap context factory our localhost url so if you are not done any kind of mistake you will get this kind of things but if you have done mistake definitely we will get so many exception so in next tutorial i am going to discuss like how many types we can get error during creating connection time thank you guys please subscribe